It might be the simplest thing about sports, that pretty much every time two sides go against one another, there's going to be a winner and there's going to be a loser. In the biggest moments, on the greatest stages, that reality can govern hopes and dreams, fame and fortune. It can change the course of lives forever. And then there are the stories that make you start to wonder otherwise. Stories that make you wonder what hopes and dreams really look like. How much fame and fortune really matter. And what kinds of moments really change the course of lives forever. 20 years ago, two women came to a golf course in the middle of America and battled for the most hallowed championship in their sport. One came away with a trophy. The other went home in heartbreak. Or maybe it wasn't quite that simple. You could say the U.S. Women's Open has always been about pure excellence more than anything else. A championship to test the greatest women's golfers in the sport, amateurs and professionals alike, with courses set up to be more challenging than any other in the world. There are other major tournaments that have emerged in the decades since, but there's still none quite like this one. Well, I believe the U.S. Women's Open is the pinnacle of women's golf. It's the most important, it's the most prestigious. And the way the USGA typically sets up a women's open is that they put a premium on every aspect of a player's game. They want to make it the toughest championship in golf, the most severe, not unfair, but just the sternest test of golf. In 1998, for its 53rd edition, the open came to Black Wolf Run in Kohler, Wisconsin. The course was the second longest in the championship's history. At 6,412 yards, par was 71. Black Wolf Run is an amazing course in the sense that it was a slice of Americana. We staged it uh, to be played over uh, Fourth of July weekend. The whole community of Kohler embraced it. It was so festive and we knew it would be successful. We didn't know it would be that successful and memorable. Today, it's first round coverage of the United States Women's Open. The biggest names in women's golf were in Wisconsin, including four-time runner-up Nancy Lopez, eager to try one more time to bring home the trophy after an exasperating second-place finish the year before. And she was just one star set to battle it out with little-known hopefuls for the title, including a handful of amateurs who could remind Lopez of herself a quarter century earlier. I think the USGA has always felt like they wanted an amateur to win the U.S. Open. That's the feeling I always got. One of the better known amateur names in Wisconsin was a 20-year-old Duke University senior who'd been runner-up at the U.S. Amateur earlier in the year and came into this tournament without the burden of expectations. Her name was Jenny Shasiraporn. She's powerful, Jenny. A very good player. She's coming off a of birdie at 12, currently at one over. I think being 20, playing in the U.S. Open, not a lot of experience, not a lot of thought into the game, not a lot at stake. I mean, I wasn't playing for any money um, at that time. I think it made it a whole lot easier, <laughs> I think, to go out there in that situation. The teamwork I have with my brother, we just had good chemistry. He wasn't an experienced caddy at all. Two amateurs, an amateur caddy, an amateur player. I didn't think about the future, I didn't think about the money, I didn't think about what my parents were thinking about or what other people were thinking about. I just was playing truly for the love of the game at that time. Second shot on this difficult finishing ball, Jenny Shasira porn and plus one. And watch this swing, you're gonna be watching it for the next 20 something years. That is perfect, right on the plane going back. Tracking right at the pin. Birdie opportunity. I mean, that is as good as you can swing, and she's a long hitter. She's got the complete game. There's definitely a different pressure on you when you don't have anything to lose, and and I think um, when you're not expected to win, but when you're expected to win, there's a lot of pressure. And it was just that kind of pressure that had been thrust upon another 20-year-old in the field, a young star who, from a faraway land, had become women's golf's biggest young sensation, Sayri Pak. Sayri had come to the Open in the midst of one of the most stunning debut seasons by a rookie in history. A few months earlier, she'd won the McDonald's LPGA Championship, her first major, 
leading wire to wire on the way to a three-stroke victory. The first win was the major, which is giving a lot of confidence. That's definitely for sure. Seiri played well in the first round and would finish the first 18 just one shot off the lead. With the USGA's 10-shot cut rule in effect, the second round began with the big names who'd struggled the day before, hoping to play their way back into contention. But Seiri Pak would only keep rising. Seiri with 183 yards, gotten off to a good start today. She's one under for her round. A good safe play to the left side of the green. She had no specific weakness in her game. But what struck me was her power. She thought so clearly on the golf course. She rarely would make mistakes. Incredible player, hard worker, and any time you get talent and a hard worker together in a combination is always going to be a great outcome. Good looking shot if it's enough. Oh. Another story continuing to develop as the play of Sari Pak, again, who's 20 years old, a rookie, already has a major championship under her belt. What a story that would be yeah. if she can add the Open to it. And she said publicly, which is very unusual, that she wants to be the best woman golfer in history. Everything about Sari seemed to be different. As a young girl in South Korea, she'd first been a track star. And then her father had introduced her to golf when she was 14. And he'd continue to guide her as she quickly developed. Sari and her father had a great relationship. He pushed her, she accepted the challenge. He would push her to the end, but he wouldn't push her over the edge. And in round two at Black Wolf Run, Sari's skill was well apparent. With so much of the rest of the field struggling, by the sixth hole, she found herself putting for the lead. Sari and I were really good friends. Just thought she was a great champion, a great player. I'd say that's pretty good. Very disciplined, loved golf. She carried that banner for the Korean players and the people. She was quality, and they had to be very proud of that. Right, that tower with a little draw. So hard, maybe hard. So or just three might be going left. Yards. Oh, it made it. As Seiri teed off on 15, she had a two-shot lead, somehow impervious to the problems that the course was giving so many others in the field a group that included her good friend, Nancy Lopez, who at age 41, couldn't find a way to turn back the clock, even as she was able to make light of her struggle. Symbolic gesture of the white flag, the surrender. We walked up there and we put our towels on the end of our putters because that was, I mean, it was a tough, tough golf course. You know, nothing I did helped me play better. It just got tougher and tougher. But Seiri Pak had played her way into the weekend with a one-shot lead atop the leaderboard, followed closely by former champion Lisa Lot Neumann of Sweden, and four players at even par tied for third. And among those in the pack, four shots back, was another 20-year-old, Jenny Shasiraporn, the amateur gutting it out on a course that had done in many of the game's top names. That was an incredible experience, just to be able to be out there with the pros. The US Open was biggest event that you could play in. Honestly, like thinking back, it just seems, it doesn't even seem real because it doesn't seem like it could happen. The third round of the 1998 U.S. Women's Open began on Saturday, July 4th. The fireworks would be set off later that night in Wisconsin. And during the day, the course played even tougher than it had over the championship's first two rounds. Seri Pak started the third round a bit slow, and on five was one shot back. Couldn't have had an easier hole location, Roger, with the win. This ball going a little left. It comes up short. I think she expected more help from the wind. Does she have a national following in South Korea or what? She won 30 mm. amateur events there and is just beginning her career on the way of winning it. All right, middle. And for the third uh, straight day, Pac is par the difficult fifth. As Seiri battled to stay at the top of the leaderboard, Shasira Porn was starting to generate some buzz around the course. The amateur showing signs that she wasn't going to fade after her strong second round. 
this putt back uphill, moving to the right. Players have not hit it firmly enough most of the day and into the wind. That's a well-judged putt, though. She was playing boldly and fearlessly right alongside the biggest stars in the sport. And in the crowd, fans weren't just wondering how to pronounce the long name. They were trying to learn her story. I grew up right outside Baltimore in Catonsville, Maryland, and spent the first five years there. And then my parents bought a Thai restaurant in Baltimore. So we actually moved there by the time I was probably eight years old. Growing up, my dad would always pick my brother and I up from school, and then we'd drive out to Pine Ridge Golf Course. It just became an everyday thing. Eight or nine years old. So we took them to the driving range, let her try Oh, you hit good. Oh, you can hit long. When she began entering tournaments, Jenny brought home trophy after trophy of her own. And as her game continued to develop through high school, she became one of the top college recruits in the country. It was pretty easy to know about Jenny Shisura Porn just because she was so talented. She was going to be a really important recruit to bring in because she could be a game changer. She could move us to the next level. At Duke, she flourished on the course and off, emerging as one of the stars of the team. In 1998, something about that year, I just played well all year. It was one of those years where just everything just kind of went where you wanted it to go. The tee shot for Hunter Jenny. Shasira Porn, just four over par, just three over par in this round. Three bogeys, no birdies. That's very impressive play and a good shot there. Yep. Jenny put on quite a show, the finishing hole. This was her second shot. Fairway medal from the fairway at the difficult par 418. And you can see that golf swing she carries with her. There are, there's not a finer swing at this championship than Jenny's. She chewed a 75 in the third round, four over par, but third best overall on the day, putting her in a tie for four, four back. That was pretty much when my eyes opened and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm in contention for the US Open. I, prior to that, probably never, ever thought I could be at that, at that level. This putt does move to the right at the start and will try to come back a little left. It's a better stroke. Whoa! As for Seiri Pak, she ended up also shooting a 75 on the day. Good enough to keep her alone atop the leaderboard. One shot up with one round to play. So on America's 222nd birthday, two 20-year-olds a South Korean, and the daughter of Thai immigrants were amongst those contending for the U.S. Women's Open, the most challenging championship in sport. As the fourth round began, Seiri was in control, but her lead quickly evaporated. A double bogey on hole three put her at plus three, and by the eighth hole, she had lost her lead completely. Meanwhile, Jenny's play had been solid, and she found herself tied on the leaderboard with Seiri now in third. Jenny Shasiraporn for the moment has a tie for the lead with Neumann and Seiri Pak. Surrounded on the leaderboard by a collection of established pros, Shasiraporn was playing in the group ahead of leader Seiri Pak. And quickly it became apparent the 20-year-old amateur unknown was the biggest threat to the 20-year-old pro star. Well done. How's it look, Jane? Oh, uh, looking good. Another great golf swing, guys. Right down the middle. More than likely a three iron. Smart shot, chased it on there. That's, that's an excellent shot, isn't it? Very well done. By the 12th hole, Shasira Porn had taken the lead, somehow looking like the calmest player in the field, completely unfazed by the story she'd suddenly become. It's a good shot, looks like it's just going down the left side, which is dangerous. Oh, oh. That missed out by one foot. The dose of bad luck from her tee shot on 15 put her in a left side bunker and put her lead in major jeopardy. And she hits it heavily. Scooped it. 
After the adventure to get there, she gathered herself to sink the bogey putt, which would send her to 16, sharing the lead with Sayri. Second shot, 123 yards. Awkward stance. Sound a little heavy. Looks like it needs to get up. Oh, it did. As for Sayri Pak, she was a hole behind Shasira Porn, seemingly intent on not giving up any more ground. She managed to make birdie here yesterday. And yes, again today. And when she birdied 14, she had the top spot on the leaderboard back. The 1998 U.S. Women's Open was proving to be the ultimate test. However, two young golfers seemed to be up to the task and continued to press on, not willing to let the course break them. Oh, oh, that's really not good. Easy to go underneath it. Not Come bad, on, not Gary. bad, no. Not sitting that well. Did she hit it? On 17, it finally began to look like the amateur was feeling the weight of the moment, right at a point where the mistakes hurt worse than ever. Beautiful swing and great flight. But right when it looked like she was going to fall apart, she hit a perfect tee shot on 18. Sari Pak. And this one is, as you guys said, right of the green. Oh, got a little too hard. Players have read this break left. It doesn't do it. And now just one ahead. You talk about a special moment for a 20-year-old amateur from Duke. She'll be a senior next year and gets to hear this loud ovation in a women's open. Back on the 18th green, Shasira Porn didn't know the stakes of her next putt, though that lack of knowledge might have been her best asset. I don't think she's aware that Pac has bogeyed 17. I didn't even know I was putting to tie for the US Open. I, I thought I was behind. This putt uh, of Jenny's has quite a quite a break. This would be a miracle, but you never know. My brother knew I was nervous, so he just said, all right, I'm going to read the putt, OK? You just walk the, the line of the putt. By the time I got back to the ball, he said, OK, it's about one foot right of the hole. That's all he told me. He said, OK, one foot. And I was like, OK, got it. And these greens are so hard to figure, aren't they, Jane? Oh. Unbelievable On the job. long putts. Leading up to the open, I played just off, off feel, off of like looking at the target and hitting it there. Good looking putt, Jenny, Jenny! You gotta be kidding me! <laughs> Went in and so then we were just celebrating like little kids without I think my brother might have known uh, what it was worth, but I, I truly didn't. <laughs> One of the greatest putts ever in an open championship. We had just finished the 17th hole, and I heard a big roar. I, I really didn't think anything about it. All I knew is we had a one-shot lead. All we had to do is go to number 18, make a par, and I think we win the championship. She makes it. We've got to go make a four now to tie. Woman right there, Siri Pock off the tee behind her. Had to kill. Roar. Killed right down the middle, and she didn't even let the roar die down before she hit. The crowd is going crazy. The games I thought is over. Shot going just right of the hole. What a shot, Roger Malpe. She will have a birdie putt to win the U.S. Women's Open. Here we are watching the TV, and then I see my face on the TV, too. They're showing, you know, Siri Pak putting for the win for the U.S. Open. And I was thinking, wait a second, what is, what is she at? Like, is she, is she? And and that was when it started to piece together. I had no idea what was going to happen. 
When I was in the 18, I saw my names on the top of the scoreboard. Really? This is we have a chance to to do, bring the trophy at home. Got it outside the hole. Never online. And we will have an 18-hole playoff. Sayri Park unable to produce the same birdie magic on 18 that Shasira Porn just executed. Shasira Porn has yet another chance at an Open Championship. After 72 holes, the 1998 U.S. Women's Open was tied, meaning the drama would carry over to another day. An 18-hole playoff to decide the champion. Another full round on an unforgiving golf course for a pair of 20-year-olds looking to be part of history. On July 6, 1998, 20-year-old Sari Paka woke in Wisconsin, thousands of miles from home, intent on taking the next step to a lifelong dream, landing atop the world of women's golf. Meanwhile, back in South Korea, she'd quickly become a phenomenon, a young bright star in a country looking for a hero. The playoff was being broadcast around the globe, and at 2 a.m. in South Korea, millions of people were up in the dead of night to watch. Beautiful golf swing, good tempo. Looks a little bit left though. It has been the toughest fairway to hit this week. The quest has begun, a rookie and an amateur in the open title. How rare is it to see, hear, see two 20 year olds? Back in 1998, that was remarkable. And to have one of them as an amateur, that was extraordinary. For Shasira Porn, the experience was surreal, beyond anything the Duke University senior could have dared imagine when she'd begun the championship. She barely slept the night before. I was definitely um, writing in a journal, like, I can't even believe this is happening, <laughs> you know. If Shasira Porn was trying to soak in the magic, her opponent was a portrait of focus. Sayri had come to Black Wolf Run expecting to win, ready to prove she was already the best in the world. It doesn't really change anything for first round to final round and then to the, to the playoff. I got same club, um, same mind, same mental, same target, which same swing. The timing of the championship playoff couldn't have been better. July 4th weekend, which meant a huge crowd returning for the Monday playoff, along with millions watching around the globe on television, including even the President of the United States. There were 18 holes to play, but from the start, every one of them felt important, especially when Sayri missed her birdie putt on the first. Brushes the grass. And Shasira Poy chipped in for birdie. She starting, she's really strong. She making first hole chip in for the birdie. While Sayri looked to keep it close, she wasn't finding much luck. Par, par, bogey start for Sayri pocket. Then on three, Sayri bogeyed it, and Shasira Porn made par, pushing the lead to three strokes. On five, Sayri managed to make par after her birdie putt came up short. And the lead is four. But it gave Shasira Porn another chance to pull farther ahead. Reality sets in. We're four shots down after five holes. Not the dream I expected or had the previous night. Her shot and putts, everything's been, looks like a, everything's her way. In the hole! Went well short, and that kicked back in some looked to be some very thick bushes. The sixth hole was when hit it into the, the brush. She was leading off the tee, and then she made that whole big mistake. After looking, Shasira Porn couldn't locate her ball in the rough, which meant she'd have to go back to the drop area to start the hole over with a costly one-stroke penalty. Sound as crisp as normal, Roger. 
No, and that needs to get down. She came out of it a little bit. You could tell by the sound that she caught it uh, a little bit on the downswing, a little bit about a groove below. It's gone way wow, off the handle. It's hammered. And way past. The turn of fate was sudden, almost out of nowhere, which made it all the more unsettling. A disastrous hole. Absolutely couldn't be played much worse. All weekend, she'd seen too much go right to let some misfortune on one hole dictate the rest of her day. Very solid, but going left of the hole. That's good. Doesn't go down the wall. That's a good shot. Good firm swing by it. Very good. It's really, really well played. Came up very soft out of that line. That was perfect. All that needed was some pace. That was right in the center. Jenny just missed a birdie putt on the eighth hole and walked away with par. It dove on her, Roger. That moved hard right. Sayri missed her putt for par, and Jenny had a strong two-stroke lead. A lead she would hold on to until the 11th. Yeah, driving machine Roger, today, Roger. Roger. Right down the center of the fairway, John. That is wonderful. Let's get started on the right line. There it is. The first birdie of the day for Sayre Park at the 11th. So the two-shot lead has been trimmed to just one after the birdie by Park. Down the left center, John. This should be very good. Not gonna hurt you. Not gonna hurt you. No fool on him. <laughs> the shot much lower, but going down the center of the fairway. And a big hop to the right. Shasira Bourne missed her birdie putt and opened the door for Sayri to tie the competition back up with the momentum on her side. There it is. I was having trouble trying to change things, and I think that kind of snowballed, when, and then it just became so mental. The shot going down the right center. It's a solid sand iron from 86 yards. I want it down. Looks pretty good from here. It does get down. Sayri had the lead back at last, and now she just had to protect it. That one didn't sound as good, but... This one's going left. First fairway miss right in the big bunker. The dose of bad luck on her tee shot on 15 put her in a left side fairway bunker and put her lead in major jeopardy. She did, that better slow up a little bit. By the time both competitors reached the green, they found it difficult to sink their putts. But once again, the championship would not go down easy, and Sayri found herself again in a tie with the amateur. This is a seven iron, and this ball is growing right at the hole. See if it stays up. It might not. It's going down. On a day that had seen it all, she needed to get herself close. Awfully good. Well, that's a good putt, Roger. Oh, my. Can you imagine watching your 20-year-old daughter go through this? Pure. Very pure. In the heart. The four-foot putt meant they'd walk to the tee on 18, just as they'd started, tied up at the U.S. Women's Open Championship. It's right there. Is it coming back, Roger? Coming back slightly. Should be in the right side of the fairway. Yep, there's a good one, right where she was setting up to. I thought she might turn it right to left, but she just hit as straight as can be. 
We both make pars on 16 and 17. Now we're coming into 18. A hole that we've played pretty well all week. Uh, tough driving hole once again with the water on the left side. Draw, Roger. It's called drawing. This is a little dangerous. We hit driver and it goes a little bit left. As we're walking off the tee, I can hear the people saying the ball went down. The ball went down. And I'm thinking, oh my God, I mean, we battled here 18 holes. We come to the 18th hole and the ball goes down. Geez, we worked so hard. This, this can't be happening. After a day of unexpected twists and unlikely turns, on the 18th hole of the playoff at the 1998 U.S. Women's Open. This ball drawing, this is a little dangerous. It finally looked like the final bend in the road had come, as Sayri Pak's second shot had flown in the hazard area towards the water, left of the green. That was absolutely a major, major bad swing. So we walked up the left side, get up to the ball, and I look down inside, I'm, my stomach's turning because the ball is almost in the water. As Sayri considered her next move, back on the fairway, Jenny Shasiroporn launched her second shot. Is it going the other way, Roger? This shot going at the very, very right side of the green. Very smart shot, don't you think? Considering where Sayri Pack's ball is, yes. I think that was really a smart shot. She's right in the middle of the fairway. I'm in the water hazard, just no chance. I'm totally, might be 99% people thinking she's the winner, I'm the loser. Don't take yourself out of it by chunking this in the water or something where it takes you right out of the game. It was the most important shot of her life, and Sayri Pak was going to take some time to figure out what to do. And with no limit on how much that time would be, she didn't rush to make a call. You've got a young amateur player in the U.S. Open who has to sit there and endure this long process. Fortunately, it was Jenny. She might have won that hole, but maybe not. But at least she, you know, probably wasn't bothered by it as much as others might have been. She also might have been bothered more than even she realizes. You just don't know. I tell my caddy, I say, you know what, I'm going in and I'm going to make the shot. This is going to be an extremely flat swing. She's going to have to play on this shot and it's hard to get a lot of power. I'm in the hazard, then, well, I have to take it. She's got it out, all right, will it get down? Yeah. All right. And tree hoist Hawk out. If you ask me, you want to do that again, the same possible have a shot, I said, no, that's stupid trying. But that moment I decided myself to be, you know what, um, maybe this is the first to last to try it. Yeah, I think she hit it a lot better than she ever thought she was going to, Roger. She hit that so clean. That moment, that shot actually caused my country is giving a huge impact, which is they never give up still have chance, which is but more positive thinking. Siri's shot with her feet in the water on the 18th hole ranks as one of the most fascinating and exciting moments in women's open history. This was a moment that was replayed on South Korean television over and over. Siri improbably was still alive, and her next shot was full of confidence. Hit this ball pretty good. That's quite a golf shot right there. Giving herself a chance, Roger. What a day it's been for these 20 year olds. Jenny Shasira Porn, the amateur, and the rookie pro, Say Repop. What a display of golf they have put under the most intense conditions. Shasira Porn had the upper hand and a familiar long birdie putt from the edge of the green. I thought, well, Jenny's back where she was yesterday. And I'm thinking, this isn't going to happen again, is it? Settle down a little bit. A little carried away there, John. That was much too hard. She hit her second shot. It's got iced, Roger. It's hard to believe either one of these players 
this intense pressure rider could knock this butt in. Let's see. Oh, over half. So Jenny Shasira Moore will have a putt to win the United States Women's Open. Syrup Warren trying to become the youngest amateur ever to win the Open. And at the same time, the youngest ever of anyone to win this championship. I was hoping have another chance, please. <laughs> I was like really hoping it. definitely starting to get nervous and um, I can even remember the final putt where you know I'd been practicing this putt forever I was like oh this is a putt for the, to win the US Open here I had it my hands just like shaking like I couldn't even hold on to the hold on to the putter a pair of bogeys exchanged on the 18th they remain tied now at plus two and we've made history all week so why not make some more for the first time in the United States Women's Open Championship history we go to sudden death. We're 10. Players have made their way to the tee. President Bush right behind the tee, the best seat in the house. It was our first time we had gone in sudden death, yes. It's the lowest score on the first hole wins. Tee shot going down the left-hand side of the fairway, flirting with trouble. Gets a good straight hop, it's okay. Ooh, a nervous looking tee shot there. Got a lot of run too, Roger. <laughs> She's saying, yeah. Great drive. Oh, this is a terrific tee shot. Started at the right center, turning over. Fabulous tee shot. Once they got to the 10th green, Shasira Porn had a good birdie chance to put the pressure on right away. Exactly how Sayri Pak handled that putt earlier. Now Sayri Pak has this putt to win the championship for birdie. Really a good effort there. And got it. <laughs> Poor dad. <laughs> Oh, he's going all, my gosh. 91 holes, still not enough. And so they'd go to the 11th, the 92nd hole of the championship, with still no winner decided. The 1998 U.S. Women's Open Championship was in sudden death. Going just left to center. Sayri Pak and Jenny Shasiraporn. The South Korean phenom and the unknown American amateur. Both 20, both playing the biggest hole of their lives. The 11th at Black Wolf Run. It's a nice looking shot if it's the right distance. <laughs> Best of wise ball slightly below her feet. I wasn't thinking I was going to win, but I knew I want to win. I knew I won the trophy really badly. Seemed to make good contact and another good looking golf shot here. Neither Pot or Shasira Porn showing any signs of cracking. Just put uh, a little downhill on the quick side. Should try to move a little bit left or right. It's very firmly. She put first for birdie. She missed it. And I feel like this is the last chance for me to either win or lose. So, once again, say Reed Pak, have a putt, win the championship. Where do you think she'll play this, Roger? Pretty straight? Pretty straight, but John. Let me try to keep it right, but I don't think much at all. So I know as soon as I see the line, I feel like I can make it.
Sayri Pak now has the distinction of being the youngest women's open champion ever. Jenny Shasira Porn still with a smile. Wow. By the time she won, I was probably relieved that this long tournament was over. <laughs> Never nervous today? No, never. Just oh, like... come on. <laughs> the woman who'd come from South Korea to the LPGA Tour to become the best in the world had won her second major in three months and the most storied title in the game. And when she returned home soon after, the reception was overwhelming. There were Seiri ceremonies, Seiri parades, groundbreaking on a Seiri monument. Every Korean is a very big fan of Seiri. Meanwhile, back in the United States, Ginny Shasiraporn went back to school, and the next year led Duke to the NCAA title. Only then did she turn pro, only to discover life on the tour wasn't as easy as she'd made it look in Wisconsin. At that point, I, there was no going back to golf. It was all going through the motions, and uh, my heart wasn't in it, and I just knew that wasn't the lifestyle I wanted. After many months of playing as a pro, she walked away from golf in 2005 and would never look back. In 2011, her career at Duke would be remembered when she was inducted into the school's Hall of Fame. But to Jenny, there was never a second thought about leaving the golf course for nursing school. You carry uh, an inhaler in your purse yeah. as well, okay. She'd eventually get married and begin going by her birth name, Wana Lee. Today, she and her husband have two sons, and though she doesn't play golf anymore, she plans to teach them the game. You know, you just can't take any day for granted. For me, happiness is just spending time with my boys and my family and just being normal, just going through life and supporting each other. As simple as that sounds is what makes me happy. As for Seiri Park, her U.S. Open Championship was the start of one of the greatest careers in women's golf history. With 39 tour wins and five majors, even if none of them were quite as memorable or monumental as her win at Black Wolf Run. In 2007, at age 29, she was inducted into the World Golf Hall of Fame as the hall's youngest entrant ever. And then there was the other kind of impact she made. The women who currently dominate professional golf are part of Siri Park's legacy. Players like Nayeon Choi and Envy Park all remember watching Siri Park at the 1998 U.S. Women's Open winning that title. She inspired a lot of the young kids in, back in Korea by winning the U.S. Women's Open. That year, Seri Park was the only South Korean player on tour. But within a decade, there would be almost 50. Ask any of them who inspired them to play, and you'll get the same answer. One of the first things I remember about women's golf was Seri taking off her shoes. I always look up to her and wanted to be like her. She's made a huge name for herself and she's such a legend. One of the reasons why you see so many South Koreans out on tour is because of her. Seiri retired from golf in 2016 and these days stays connected to the game as a coach. All these years later, at first glance, her life couldn't be more different than the woman who she beat by the narrowest of margins on that unforgettable Monday. But even if what happened at the 98 Open changed the course of two lives forever, it's hard to look back at their lives today and try to find evidence that someone lost that day. In that sense, there was no loser at Black Wolf Run in July of 1998, and the biggest winner might have been the game of golf, forever transformed by a pair of 20-year-olds all around 